Hey everybody, this is Guillermo with Live Trading with Guillermo. Today is Thursday, August 17th, and I have a very special video for you all today. Uh, I knew this was coming, but I couldn't say any, anything about it. Man, and I, I wanted to tell somebody really bad, but I couldn't. Like, I wish I could have done a video sooner, but I couldn't. But last night, the Ripper One AI Prop Edition trend was delivered to my inbox last night. So I, I purchased it, got delivered last night got it installed, and I just couldn't wait to fire up this morning. Uh, you guys know me. I don't use SIM, but I do like to use my Apex accounts to kind of test things out, and then I'll switch it over to my uh, funded accounts here shortly. But today, first day, first impressions, this is what I'm seeing. And based on those impressions, um, I'm going to give you some recommendations. Again, this is just day one. Uh, recommendations can change, but I think this is what it's going to be like and this is how i see myself trading this bot so let's jump right in first thing you'll see that the trend is now the blue color while the scalp is this black color so just visually you'll be able to see the differences if you have the bot up or the bots up you'll be able to visually see which one's which okay pretty easy i like the color scheme that's pretty cool all right so just visually looks great What's under the hood, though, it's what's really impressive to me. And that's why I'm, I was really excited uh, to, to, to get on this and, and record as quickly as possible. So the trend, as the, as the name implies, is looking for bigger moves, right? It's basically swinging for the fences, to use the baseball analogy, right? It's going for that home run. So first thing I noticed, uh, it was at the open. It started trading. It traded the NQ. I think it traded crude oil and a couple other instruments that I've never traded before. So I don't know what they are. I just saw the, the letters pop up on my Trade of Eight uh, web uh, portal. And I could see the trades, but I, I, I don't know what instrument it was. And I guess it doesn't really matter because, as you can see here, it netted, uh, what is that, 940? I don't know. What, I don't know the math here uh, for the morning uh, on the trend. So it, it, it's already just pretty, pretty amazing uh, on, uh, just on that alone. Like it did all this trading, it, I, in, it did it all in the background. I didn't know what it was doing, and then all I could see is just the balance getting bigger, which is pretty cool. And it could get bigger uh, still. Like I'm literally recording live, so uh, something could, could happen while I'm recording, and it would be cool to see if it did. But anyway, I'm just recording right now, and it's live. Both bots are live, so anything can happen uh, while I talk. What's under the hood? What I noticed immediately here is that the multiplier, so I'm going to change this real quick so you can see it. So I'm going to change that to a 1, and, and the max loss is 500. So what does this mean? Okay, the multiplier doesn't mean that it's going to trade one contract. It doesn't mean it's going to trade one mini. It's not going to trade one micro. That's not what it's saying. What it's saying is that me, as a trader, I'm willing to risk one unit, which equates to $500. Okay, one unit of risk equals 500. I'm going to switch this back to a two because I'm trading 150K account. So I'm, I want to go for a little bit more because I have a bigger trailing drawdown. But hindsight being 2020, which of course is it's hindsight, right? So we have no control over that. I wish I would have had these bots months ago. You know, I've, I have funded a 300K account. I have multiple 150K accounts on trade of eight and rhythmic and uh, those have big profit targets the trailing drawdown isn't as generous as the account gets bigger it's actually it starts to compress proportionally it doesn't keep up so 50k accounts on the other hand the fifty thousand dollar evaluations are perfect for this and i think that's you know, I think the, the Ripper 1 AI uh, scalp and trend are really optimized uh, for, for prop trading, especially the 50K. That's just my opinion, and, but, but I'm going to tell you why. When you have a one unit of risk, as I mentioned, is 500, right? So if you're uh, trading a 50K account, uh, you could lose 500 a day or you can set a target, of course, here if you want to, but there's an upside. So you can make 500, you can make 1,000, you can make 1,500 on the bot, but, you, but your loss is only 500. 
and your trailing drawdown on a 50k i think it's 2500 or 2750 so you would have to lose five days in a row to blow up an account which is very unlikely that that would happen so you have to trade for seven days anyway why not just get a 50k account and your profit target daily target uh is what 400 20, you know 450 something like that i can't do math on my head right now but it's not a lot and, and you can get there uh in seven days uh even if it took you 10 you you'd be in you'd be you'd be in the money and then you could be trading uh live accounts after that so it's pretty pretty sweet so i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna switch this back to a two because i'm i'm running 150 k's and, and i'm willing to accept uh this higher uh, uh risk multiplier but yeah I wish I was trading 50k accounts and if you're a new person you're looking at automation you you're not good at you know manual trading you're not good at proper risk management you have some problems with trading psychology and all of that um, here this is th th these are the bots for you I would recommend the trend and the scalp so you can take advantage of both trading uh, models swing for the fences with the trend get smaller quick you know quick in and outs with the scalp for profitable trading so that's what i recommend you get the best of both worlds and then just only trade the 50 case just get a one multiplier 50k account and you're good to go so that's totally what i would recommend for those of you that have my email if you have some questions you can share me a quick email but Anything related to pricing, tree trade, I'm sure would be happy to talk to you about that. Uh, I am not tech support or anything like that. Uh, but me as a user of the software, a purchaser of the software, with my own uh, prop accounts, funded accounts, this is what I'm seeing. This is my opinion but and my recommendations. And uh, But I feel real good about this, guys. Uh, I'm pretty excited. I'm happy I have this bot. I'm, I'm glad I made the purchase. So, what's the plan? Tomorrow, I'm going to run uh, both bots again. Um, I think I'm going to switch over to my uh, funded accounts and trade those uh, probably tomorrow. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and get started. I'm going to adjust my risk appropriate for my account. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's, and that's what I recommend uh, folks do. Uh, manage your risk appropriately based on your account size and just let it go that's it there's nothing else to think about guys so uh be on the lookout for the next video and uh once i see something change or, or something cool that i want to share with you i'll definitely post post a new video but i hope you enjoyed today's video and i'm gonna catch you on the next one take care now bye